My name is Lily Haptu, and if you don't know my story, let me share it with you. A year ago, in this very day, I was attacked in the safety of my classroom. I was a victim of gun violence because a dangerous individual brought a gun into, onto campus and changed my life forever. I was shot not once, I was shot not twice, but I was shot three times. Once in the head, once in the jaw, and one in the wrist. I have to live with the bullet that will remain lodged one millimeter away from my brain stem. My family and I have suffered immensely. My family watched helplessly while my body twisted in agony. I'm screaming and crying out of the sheer pain that I've never known could physically exist. Even with all the morphine, all the painkillers, I could feel the pain. And I thought, is this why God saved me? <laughs> so that I could wish that I had died on that floor peacefully. So I wouldn't have to feel such pain. And yet, I am one of the lucky ones. Imagine what the families of the 32 victims are going through. These are wounds that will always remain open. And with every shooting, we relive these darkest, horrific moments of our lives. I will never truly heal from this tragedy. How does one truly heal when their sister, brother, father, mother, cousin, friend, any loved one, has their life stolen. A bullet doesn't discriminate whose life it steals. A bullet doesn't discriminate whose family it will tear apart, whose home it will destroy. Why would you risk letting gun violence destroy your lives? We have suffered enough for all of America. Let our tears be enough. Let our bloodshed be enough. What has happened to us we cannot change, but we have the opportunity to change our gun laws today to help prevent another Columbine, another Virginia Tech from happening. When we sit around and we do nothing, we allow our society to remain vulnerable and ourselves victims. We can help prevent gun violence from reaching our homes, touching their lives, but we must work together beginning right now, so another Virginia Tech tragedy does not happen. What are we waiting for? Do we want to wait until another school shooting occurs and 50 people are taken away all at once? Do we want to take away 100 people all at once? This is not a contest. This is what we're dealing here with. We're dealing with loss of life. And we must ask ourselves, what is human life worth to me? And if you think even one life is precious and worth saving from gun violence, then we know what we must do. We must force our congressmen to act immediately. We need sensible gun laws now. We need to pass laws that will help prevent dangerous individuals from having access to guns. Starting today, we will no longer remain silent. We will make our voices be heard. We will no longer sit idly and do nothing. We need to tell our congressmen to pass federal laws to help keep us safe. I'm here today on behalf of all gun victims. We all need to be living memorial and commit ourselves to fight for responsible gun laws. Let us start it today. Thank you.